Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from Naresh I Technologies. So, in this video today, let us have a small discussion about object array. A array can be declared by using integer array, string array, user defined class array or object array. The meaning is like this now. Whenever you want to declare one array, we take the class name, array variable, new class name and size. Normally, array is a collection of elements of same data type or similar data type. So, the class name array variable and this is array operator braces and new class name. So, in the class name we can have we can have wrapper classes like. So, whenever I declare this array by using integer, now this array is collecting integer objects means what integer wrapper class objects the objects of the same class integer, integer wrapper class object. So, this array is a collection of integer wrapper class objects that is the meaning of this line. So, if I declare, if I declare one array as string now, I am calling it as string array. This array is collection of string objects means string class objects. This I am calling it as string array, this is integer array. If I had one user defined class like this, so if I had one user defined class, so the meaning of this is nothing but this array is collecting employee class objects. So, this is nothing but employee array indirectly, user defined class array. This array is collecting the objects of employee class, this array is collecting objects of string class, this array is collecting the object of integer class. Today's concept is nothing but I must declare one array by using object class java dot lang dot object. So, the declaration will, will be object a equal to new object. So, whenever I declared one array like this now, this array is of type java dot lang dot object class, this array is accommodating objects java dot lang dot objects class objects. So, the specialty of this array is nothing but this array is collection of integer objects similar data, collection of string objects similar data, collection of employee objects similar data, but object array is a collection of dissimilar objects. Array normally array is collection of similar objects, but whenever if we declare one array as object class nothing but java dot lang dot object class. If I declare one array as object java dot lang dot object, the array can collect dissimilar objects means what? This is ready to accept integer, ready to accept string, ready to accept even user defined class objects. So, this is the collection of dissimilar objects or heterogeneous objects. So, let us show one example now. Suppose I had one variable like this int a is equal to 123 example some name is equal to NIT example. Now, this can be accommodated within your object array. So, whenever I want to accommodate within the object array now example, here 123 is there, here NIT is there example, these two are nothing but integer data and string data. So, if I take like this now, if I had one object class like this, so this is a of 0 can be accommodated with this value example 123 and a of 1 I can accommodate with NIT means what? These two are nothing but a is one array name which is declared by the object class which is declared by the object class. Whenever it declared by the object class this array is ready to accept dissimilars. So, now this a of 0 I can accommodate with 123, 123 is nothing but one integer a of 1 I can accommodate with NIT in double quotes I am calling it as string now. So, this is ready to accept now. Whenever it is accept this array it comes under dissimilar collection. So, this is normal primitive data integer string and so on. Whenever I want to accommodate non primitive data like user defined class objects now imagine I had one class now. I had one object known as employee object. I had one object obj1 which is declared by using employee class 
I had one object obj2 which is declared by address class. These two objects can be collected by using one object class. So, I can collect like this now object obj3 equal to I can collect it as obj1 and obj2. If you observe clearly this object this one object array is a collection of obj1 comma obj2 obj1 is one user defined class object employee obj2 is object of user defined class address these two objects can be collected by one array this array must be declared by using object class finally a array which is declared by using java dot lang dot object class which can accommodate dissimilar objects can accommodate dissimilar objects or dissimilar elements. So, let me explain this concept by using one small program. So, let me explain this object array. The specialty of object array is to accommodate dissimilar elements or dissimilar objects. Let me show by example now. So, just now I have taken like this. I will take one primitive data integer sum a is equal to if not sum roll number is equal to 123 I will take it. This is one primitive integer data. I will take one string name is equal to some take name I will take it out. So, I took one integer value one string value now. Now, this values I am accommodating within the object right look here this object array this I am calling it as object array which is accommodating which is accommodating integer primitive data and the string data it is accommodating dissimilar element normally array means should accommodate similar elements but object array is ready to accommodate dissimilar elements so if i display this now, now if i want to display object array so i am i am using for each loop for displaying this one so, my intention is object array is ready to accommodate dissimilar elements. I am going to display these elements now. It is accommodated. I will get 123 and n80. I am getting 123 and n80. So, I am getting one integer value and one string value. Now, this display has been done by using array object. So, let me show one uh, accommodated example here by showing one user defined class. So, I will take one user defined class like this class employee. Now, this employee is having some name again example. Now, string some id is equal to 23. So, whenever you want to display the data from the object, we take the support of public string to string method here written some name is equal to plus name id is equal to plus id so i took one user defined class i will create the object for employee class and i will display this one so i am taking one more class now address here I am taking one string house number is equal to 12 dash 34 by h now. I took one data variable here. Now, to display this I am using public string to string method here written house number is equal to plus house number. I had two classes now one is employee class and one is address class. Employee class is having two fields to display this data I am taking the support of this overriding method of object class now this is overrides java dot lang dot object dot two string class which is used to display the data. I had one field within the address class now. I am displaying by using two string method. 
So, finally, here I will create object for employee obj1 equal to new employee. I am creating object. I am creating object obj1 I am creating object. Here I am creating address obj2 equal to new add res address. I had object 1 and object 2 obj1 the object of employee class obj2 the object of address class. Now, I will take one object array a2 is equal to obj1 comma obj2. Now, I am taking one a2 which is declared by using object class which is accommodating two objects. These two objects are coming from user defined class coming from user defined class. So, let me display this now. I am trying to display the employee data for object some z colon. I am taking a2. I am displaying system dot out dot print ln z. So, I am displaying z now. So, whenever I display this z now, if you observe clearly, this two R belongs to user defined class objects. This user defined class objects is collected by using one object array. Now, object array is collection of dissimilar objects or heterogeneous objects. So, the objects belongs to different classes. If I run it, this is the normal primitive data, this is user defined class data means what array normally in Java or any language array is collection of elements of same data type or similar data type. But if this array is declared by using one object class java dot lang dot object class that object array can accommodate dissimilar elements. Here the meaning of dissimilar element means the elements may come from different data type integer, float, character, primitive elements. If not the element can also be a object the object can be of user defined class object, wrapper class object, string object and so on means what array if declared by using java dot lang dot object class which can accommodate dissimilar elements in java can accommodate dissimilar objects, objects belongs to different classes. So, in this example the program demonstrates you that like this. I took one 123 which is declared by using integer int int primitive data type. I declared one nit in double quotes represent string data. I am accommodating this roll number and name into one object array a1 means what now a1 is collecting one primitive data with string now. So, this is one object array which is collection of dissimilar elements. One element is nothing but string element, one element is nothing but integer element. I am collecting dissimilar elements. So, whenever I want to display this data, I will take the support of for each loop like this now. So, the syntax of for each loop is nothing but you must say the collection name. Why you are calling it as collection name? A1 is a collection of two elements. One element belong to integer, one element belong to string now. Now, A1 is the collection name which is collecting two dissimilar elements. So, I took the data, sorry, I took the name here is A1. So, this is the variable which is retrieving which is holding the element which is retrieved from the collection name. Suppose the element retrieved from a1 now loaded onto the k. This a1 is a collection which is collecting two elements now. So, the data which has been retrieved nothing but the element which has been retrieved from a1 is holded by k now. k is of type what now? Object java dot lang dot object type which is ready to accept any kind of element. So, this k value is displayed here automatically. This is the display of your primitive element and string element. So, now I taken two objects now. This example is to represent that a array object or array object array can accommodate dissimilar user defined class objects. I took one employee class that is obj1 I created. I took one address class I created obj2. This example by line number 33 represents that this a2 is an array name 
which is declared by using object class which is accommodating two elements now one element is nothing but object of address class one element is nothing but object of employee class so this array of object class is accommodating two dissimilar objects one is employee object one is address class object so whenever i want to display this data i am taking the collection name once again a2 is a collection name nothing but array variable name is nothing but collection name which is accommodating two objects obj1 and obj2 whenever i retrieve the data from a2 that is loading on to z now so z is nothing but declared by using object class ready to accept any kind of element i display the z you'll get a doubt sir if i display the z how the data is coming means internally we declared one two string method two string method is nothing but method coming from java dot lang dot object class whenever you declare one two string method within your user defined class that becomes one overriding method of your java dot lang dot object class by using this two string method you can display the fields or data from the object directly without calling any method here so finally so this a2 is an array variable name which is declared by using object class which is accommodating two dissimilar user defined class objects so this is one small concept small introduction about object array means why we have used to do one small concept on object array means generally array means collection of elements of similar data but the same array if we declared by using java dot lang dot object class the array will get the capability of accommodating or collecting dissimilar elements that is a um, intention of this video and concept in this concept if you want to accommodate dissimilar elements you can declare one array as java dot lang dot object class thank you watch me more on this particular channel narish it